Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in The Sims 4, where we have mixed and matched so many different genes that half the time we're not really even sure what we're looking at anymore. For instance, Hannah, our canine experiment 047 dog, who happens to also have horns and hooves on her as well. I really love her look though, she very much reminds me of like a strong, solid dog who also reminds me of Grimm from Harry Potter, so hmm. But alright, today Hannah is actually your day because the random generator has determined that it is now time for a new canine addition to the family tree. But before we go any further, we must once again clap and celebrate for the fact that we have Tigger, our lab tech, here with us. And I have to say, I was a little taken back by the wonderful clown outfit that she is currently wearing, but I'm really hoping it will just bring in some of the hilarious drama that our random pet genetics challenge often offers up. So let's go ahead and Tigger has aged up a little bit older, a little bit wiser and has become an adult. And we are going to shift over now and release our extra kitty cats to the cat condo area where they can go play and frolic and live out their lives in the luxury now that they have helped us with our experiments. So Carla is going to head out. Goodbye, Carla. And she is going to take Storm with her, the very amazingly normal looking Storm. Not a lot of bright colors, not a lot of bright whisker colors, but really, really, really beautiful fur. This just looks like a cat that you just want to like cuddle because it's a super soft little ball of fur with a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful tail. Ah, just really, really beautiful cat and extremely friendly and affectionate. So remember guys, if you too want to take Storm home and add her in to your Sims 4 families, then all you have to do is open up the gallery and search for Blissy underscore leaves. That's me. And and you can download any of our experiments from my library there. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. And Storm, you go ahead and play till somebody adopts you and takes you home. And we are going to leave Bree, our current feline experiment, to play and kind of frolic about the lab today with her no whisker self. I have no idea. Where did your whiskers run off to, Bree? Oh my goodness. I have no idea where they've gone. And we're going to make a new dog. A new dog, finally. Woo! The dogs often are exceptionally dramatic in how they are going to look uh, but we're gonna add in a new dog for Hannah so that she can have a canine companion to join the ranks so let's go ahead and pull up let's see it's gonna be a new puppers oh my gosh already are you like Paula's sister do you guys remember Paula from our, um, Paula the dog from one of our previous episodes? I feel like I'm staring straight back into her exceptionally disapproving eyes. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and do the breed mixer, and we are going to randomly mix eight breeds. And on the eighth dog, we will stop and then tweak a few things on the genetic level before we find out who exactly we're going to have as Hannah's mate. So you guys ready for this? One! Oh, adorable. Two. Oh my gosh, look at you. You are one scrappy looking awesome little mutt. You just look like one of those puppies that is at the beginning of one of those really emotional shows where a person's just walking past an alleyway and this dog tumbles out with a banana peel over their forehead and they just start wagging their tail and the person's like, but I can't take a dog home. The landlord doesn't allow it. And they glance around themselves and then they scoop the dog up and then the whole thing is just like a comedic two hours of love and life and learning to move to the countryside so that you can keep your dog. That's exactly what this dog looks like, isn't it? I, okay, now I gotta keep it. Now I have to keep it. I gave the dog a backstory. This is almost as dangerous as like fostering a pet. You never just foster. All right. Well, all right. The random generator says girly Jules 13 is the one who has won the random generator this round. So this is going to be little Jules who I did not plan. Whoops. I don't want to. We're not done. We're not done. Who I did not plan on keeping. But then I went and made that great backstory up for Jules. And, and now I just can't. I just can't turn away. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. And okay, there we go. We're going to go ahead and we are actually going to try again. So let's add pet. All right, come here. We're going to go ahead and add a pet <laughs> and we're going to try again. So that was the second out of eight. Uh, let me try mixing the breeds again. And so three, four, five, six, seven, I think we're gonna end up with a small dog this time, and eight. 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna have this as the base for our small dog. I might as well leave the traits because they randomly rolled in. So this is going to be a sleuth who's lazy and loyal. And now let's change everything about them other than the head shape, which we will leave to remain unique as it is when you mix breeds like that. So we're gonna change the body shape once. Oh, we're gonna have a stocky. A stocky dog to be Hannah's mate this time. We're gonna change the tail seven times. So are you guys ready for this? I guess there's not many custom content tails just yet for dogs and cats, but I do need to get like two tail, nine tail sort of things installed. Hmm, time to go custom content hunting again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, just to remind you guys, if it like doesn't look like it moved, I did hit the button, just sometimes it selects the same tail. So a happy little perky tail is going to be on this puppers and then let's go ahead and change everything but the head shape because the head shape is actually a unique mix of whatever mixed breeds this puppy is so we're going to change oh there's a lot of sevens in a row all of a sudden okay so one two three four five six seven there we go oh that's cute i like that with the sleuth thing like their ears half up but they're also lazy so the other ear has to go down Let's change the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice, okay. The eyes are gonna get changed. Uh, let's see, and it's gonna be five times. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. All right, this is one of those kinds of dogs. All right, well, okay. <laughs> Okay, then uh, carrying on we're going to go ahead and change the coat pattern ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right, just a very simple colored puppy. I do like the fact that it's got huge eyes. It's like really alert, uh, very concerned. I have a feeling this is a somewhat nervous dog. And we're going to change the coat color 10 times and then 12 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay. All right, we're going somewhere with this puppy. We're only halfway through and I'm not really sure where we're going, but we're going somewhere. All right, fur type nine times. One, two, three. This is a very stocky dog. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, a little Pomeranian poof mixed in now. This is definitely more random than we could have ever expected just using random mixed breeds, that's for sure. But all right, guys, this is where things are going to get pretty dramatic and pretty exciting because the horns, the hooves, and so much more might possibly be added on to this puppers now. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's a little outfit. Oh, you couldn't see. Oh, I see, I see, I see. All right, so we are going to randomize six times to see if this puppers is going to end up with possibly having hooves or horns or a pig nose <laughs> or uh, whiskers. So we've got a lot of options for what this little guy could have on top of just looking like a very confused Pomeranian mix. All right, so six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh man, really? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> look, look closer. Look closer, guys. We have whiskers! We've got whiskers on this puppy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna take off the big giant spiky collar that just looks like it would slip literally right off the puppy. And uh, we've got whiskers. So this puppy has much more dramatic whiskers than you would normally find on a dog. Something more along the lines of what you would find on perhaps a fox. And this one's name is going to be, drum roll please, Doggy. <laughs> Doggy7452. After Doggy7452, the YouTuber uh, who has left a little YouTube comment. So thank you so much for that. So <laughs> there we go. And this is going to be K9 Experiment is 048. There we are. This is going to be an interesting addition to the family tree. It feels more like I'm adding in some sort of large hamster, to be completely honest. In fact, it actually does remind me of a large hamster rather than... <laughs> <laughs> Truly, actually, this feels more like a hamster than a dog. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna look at, unfortunately, just three of their puppies, but we're gonna see what Doggy and Hannah's puppies are going to be, and then grant a new name. Dun, dun, dun. So let's go ahead and mix and match these genes. Play with genetics. 
Doggy, if you had a, a random puppy, what would it look like? Oh my gosh, that's actually so cute! <gasps> look at this one, guys! This this looks like Nora the cat, only it's a dog! This, But this looks just like Nora, my, 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 my beloved Chips' family's cat! She's so cute! She's so dainty! She's so light on her feet! Oh my gosh, I want to keep her! Dang it, this is why I shouldn't play too much with the random jeans, because the next thing you know, I'm keeping them. But we're going to name this one Kani, Connie, excuse me, after Connie Yaru, who has actually left a fantastic comment. Thank you so much for that. So, Kani, uh, Connie, excuse me, I hope that you very much enjoy being this adorable, dainty dog who reminds me completely of Nora the cat, who is in our family. And Nora is very, um, let's see, what is Nora? I'm going to basically make Nora just as a dog she is very friendly well she's more like she's more she's more of a sleuth she wants to know what's going on and comes up and greets everybody in the house as soon as you walk in and she jumps up on her counter and she meows at you until everyone says hello nora and then she continues moving on doesn't really want pets she is not particularly hairy uh to be completely honest she's not jumpy she is very loyal and she is very smart She's not very much of anything else. Not particularly active. Eh, well, she can be pretty playful. I think that I think that she does have quite the playful streak, but she's smarter than more than anything. So there we go. We have Nora as Connie, the wonderful dog. I did not expect that. So apparently, don't be deceived, guys. Doggy will give you some really awesome results. If you just give him the chance, he will give you adorable puppies. <laughs> Maybe that's what's under all of his fur. That's hilarious. But all right, anyway, where the heck was I? I don't even remember. Three puppies, that's right. All right, so let's see. No, Connie, I don't need to see your puppies. We need to see what Hannah's puppies would be with Doggy. And this is one of three. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this would be one of their three sons. Um, and he's kind of amazing. I won't lie. This is kind of awesome. All right. So he would be doggy size. Uh, I'm not sure. Would he have horns? Let me roll. He would indeed have horns. Would he have hooves? He would have horns. Would he have? Nope. He would not have the whiskers. So we would have, uh, Hannah's horns and Hannah's hooves, but not doggy's whiskers. So I might go ahead. Uh, okay. I'll go ahead and see if I can recreate that really fast. So let's see. Horns. I think I have the, the, here's the hooves. So Hannah's hooves, wait, maybe not those ones. Ah, all right, I'm gonna have to find the, the hooves. I know that they're somewhere. I may have not correctly installed them just yet, but we're gonna have to modify. So let's just go ahead and pretend. There we go. So this would be, this would be uh, Mara actually. So Mara Rogers was the next person that the random generator picked. So this would be the first result of, uh, <laughs> the first result of having the mix between doggy and hannah and i don't think we have a much more room for anything else so let's go ahead and just get the last puppy unfortunately mara you would have adorable puppies too there we go hannah doggy <gasps> So pretty! So this would be their second daughter, and then we need the third and final puppy between these two. Oh, a big girl. <gasps> Does she have a little white, or like a little blue patch on her ear? That's so cool, I think she has a little blue patch on her ear and she looks just like her mom, oh my gosh. So she's much bigger. She is pro like the younger, the younger one, but she's definitely the bigger sister. So would she have Hannah's horns? No. Would she have Hannah's hooves? No. Would she have whiskers? No. <laughs> Dang it. All right, the random generator rolled 50-50 for all three of those things since they are the special traits that her parent dogs have. But it seems that... Dun, 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 dun. It seems that Evelyn, after Evelyn Lapidat, thank you so much for your wonderful comments, my friend. I love that you have a dog named Cricket and Daisy. Those are adorable names. Is going to be Canine Experiment 049. So let's go ahead. 
There we go, Evelyn. And she has actually rejected so many of the various traits that we had to offer up for our canine companions, and apparently just wants to keep herself looking more like a dog. But she looks like a very reliable dog, doesn't she? She kind of looks like she could just step right out. Well, she also looks a little intimidating. Like, she's the kind of dog that you would want to see if you needed help being pulled out of a river or something, but maybe not that you wanted to see just, like, walking around your neighborhood. So hmm there's especially because she has the aggressive trait <laughs> so she's active aggressive and loyal and actually i've been rereading um let's see oh gosh what's it called uh the wild book oh no i can't believe i forgot what it's called where is it <laughs> there we go call of the wild i have been rereading call of the wild and she definitely reminds me of the dogs and call of the wild so she's meant for the tough, adventurous life, which may make her a perfect, strong companion for a more timid sort of sim trying to explore the new jungle world. So, hmm. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. I have to say, I am really in love with Connie here. She's so cute. She's so cute that I would like immediately add her into one of my sims families because she's just so tiny and petite with those itty bitty little paws. She really, she's one of those dogs who thinks she's a cat, basically. Uh, and then we have Jules, who I really love as an alley dog who I like to think this is not her coat color. She's actually really, really messy. And actually, guys, if you want to like tweet at me or or like tag me on Instagram with like taking Jules home and giving her a little Sims bath and what you think her coloring looks like under all of that mud and dirt, I would really love to see that. That would be a really fun experiment to see if we can like hashtag um Hmm, Bejeweled Jewels or something? We'll have to figure it out. But I like her a lot. So hopefully somebody will take her home. Somebody will bathe her. Somebody will give her an opportunity to be a well-beloved member of her family. And somebody will keep her out of the trash. Because I just have this mental image of her with a little banana peel on top of her head now. That would be so cute to see, actually. And hopefully we can keep uh, our, our messy little puppers' jewels nice and clean. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.